Hello, my name is Chenayus, and today I'm going to be reviewing this game called Ping. So, how you play this game is you must click somewhere on the, on the canvas to move your character. So, if you click somewhere, your character will go there. So, you have to collide with these dots. They are black and green ones. So once you collide with them, they move. When they touch the same colored dot, they merge and you get two points. And you also get a combo bonus. And, but if they touch another color, you lose a point and you lose your combo. There's also power-ups like bananas for no reason. They, <laughs> kind of destroy almost everything. And pandas, also for no reason. No scientific reason, specifically. Uh, there's also black holes and these thingies that I don't even know what they do. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the whole entire premise of the game. And the goal of the game is to get about like as much points as you can in the time of one hour because I don't know what a time I could give it. So that's the whole entire purpose of the game. So now we're gonna go look at this code. First things first, we'll see that we'll have a bunch of variables, this variables. We have a function called a component. If you can see over here, it's a component. Whenever we create a component, here you see this function start game will create a component called my game piece. It has the width of 30, length of 30, its color is red, and it's gonna be spawned at the coordinates 10x and 120y. And this is gonna be the points variable where it's going to be a 70 pixel word with the font red, red it sans, but it kind of broke, but who cares? It's going to be a black color and it's going to be on the 10th X and 100 Y. It's going to be a text type. So remember that. So over here we have the frame nodes. This, this helps us know what frame it's going to be. So we could use it so that we could time things. Over here, we have the update function. You can use the update function to update anything. So there's three types of updates, images, text, and normal block updates. So they're going to use different types. This one is going to use draw image. The second one, which is text, is going to use fill text, and the third one will use fill rect. We also have the new position, which is here to update our position using our speed x and speed y's, and so as gravity included. And we also have this wall variable that makes us so that we can have a wall so we don't go outside of the frame. So you can see a uh, bottom roof, right, left. Yeah, you can't go past there. There's also follow click, which is kind of compli complicated. You have to use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This whole entire thing is Pythagorean theorem. Then we get that Pythagorean theorem, turn that into percents, and then times it by one, uh, and then yeah, that's basically how we do it. So then we have this thing called every time, every interval, which means that every time that it hits an interval, which is like, if I say every one frame, it will do something in that frame in that function for one frame. So here you can see we have these 
random time thing is. They're here so that we could tell, we could give a random time to the, you know, power ups. This is going to be our thingy that we will use to update the game every single frame. You have the frame now, which is updated every single frame. And we have the game piece speed, which will always be reset to zero. So here you can see that we have created dots and every time that we collide with them, they will go a certain speed. You can see here, right, 10. So basically half of our speed. So every time that we collide with these, you know, if both of them collide, you get a, you get points and scores, and you also get combo. They also kind of disappear, which they don't really disappear. They just go to another position. And this is the spawning. So you could spawn them every once. You could spawn them once again, which is like the first frame. And then we have here to update the dots. And we also have the black dots, which will be updated and basically the same thing, except for like over somewhere over here. I don't know. I don't remember. But if they crash against a the dot, they lose a point. So here we have the black hole variable. This is a power up that literally consumes everything in its path. And it has a limit. Here you can see it has a limit. So we can see that it has a 50 limit. That means it could only absorb 50 points until it exists, no longer exists. Next, we have the banana, which is a power up that bounces between dots. So if it hits a dot, it will bounce back. If it hits another dot, it will bounce back and they also gain points for hitting dots. But you also don't get combos though. This one is the panda. It's a pretty good one. So every time you hit the panda, the panda will become large and then it will consume everything that it touches. And then that's pretty much all. And there's also a kind of thing called crate block. If you can see over here, this makes it so that there is a power up that create, can create things over here. Can create things like black holes by pressing shift one. Here you can see the game controls. You can see over here, right? Dash equals zero. My game, please follow click. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the code. And these are the images. Very cool images. This is the CSS file, canvas, border color, background color. This is the HTML file, doc type, HTML, HTML, head, metas, name, viewport, content, with surface device, with blah, 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 uh, link, rel, style sheet, href, card, CSS, head, body, on load, start game, canvas with blah, 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 and all of this stuff. Yes, yeah, so that's basically the game. Basically all of the game is kind of hard. I mean, like, it's not that hard. But I guess that's the whole entire game explained in 10 minutes, I think. So goodbye.